So recently I saw these three videos in which game developers made a game in only 10 minutes. And well, I wanted to try to challenge myself, but compared to these game devs which use a game engine like Unity, I decided to do the opposite and not to use any game engine at all. I'll cover more of these details in a moment, but the whole challenge actually went better than I expected. I decided to recreate Pong since I thought it would be easy enough to create it in 10 minutes. I mean, I only need like 4 rectangles and a circle to recreate Pong, so it shouldn't be that difficult, right? Well, yes and no. The game itself isn't that difficult to code, but because 10 minutes is a very small amount of time, playtesting is close to non-existing, and the general rule of programming is that rarely playtesting is like riding a bike and rarely opening your eyes. It is very easy to make a mistake, which can break absolutely everything. Luckily for me, I only had one minor bug in these 10 minutes. The bug was just me not setting a frame rate limit, which meant that the game was running at a few thousand FPS probably, and everything was sped up because of that. To make the whole pong, we need to make a few small steps. First, we need the rectangles and a circle, then add movement of a player, and collision, just so that a player can't go out of a level, and the final step would be the movement of the ball and to add collision with the walls and the player. Since I finished a few minutes before the end, I decided to add a rainbow effect to all of the blocks, which would make the game look more alive. In total, I finished around 20 seconds before the deadline, and I completely forgot that I should maybe make the ball speed up as the time goes on, but that was like two lines of code, and that wouldn't take that long. And that is time. The game is not available to download, however you can check out some of my other games that were made in more than 10 minutes. I'm working on a much bigger project at the moment, and I can't reveal yet what it is. All I can say is that it is much more complicated than any of my previous projects, and that obviously takes more than 10 minutes to make. Anyways, that is all for today, thank you for watching, and until the next one!